Good Friday evening, everyone. My name is William. I have your digital news brief for August 5th. Mark D'Amico has been sentenced today to five years in state prison for his role in a massive GoFundMe scam that received national attention. The Burlington County Prosecutor's Office says that the time will be served concurrently with a 27-month federal sentence. This is all according to a plea agreement that was made when D'Amico started to plead guilty in court. As for his co-conspirator, Katie McGlure, she was supposed to be sentenced today, but her sentencing was postponed until September. McGlure started the GoFundMe page with D'Amico, who was the boyfriend at that time. They both made up a story about a homeless man helping them pay for the gas after McGlure was being stranded on the Interstate 95. People donated more than $400,000 in cash, which the dynamic duo spent it on themselves. We have a warning for anyone planning a getaway in the fall. American Airlines is cutting back flights in September and October out of Philadelphia International Airport. That's where the cuts make up about at least 2% of the time for the entire company. That means 209 fewer departures will begin to start and then over 300 more on my birthday month, which is October. American Airlines also says that this is all due to passenger demand, staffing shortages, staffing concerns, and so on. Then they also say that it will revisit those adjustments as soon as possible. Firefighters were on scene in Frankfurt as a telephone pole crashed into a local house on the 4100 block of Salem Street. CBS 3 Eyewitness News was told no one was inside the home at that time, but 17 customers lost power in the area. The power came back on at 12.20 p.m. this afternoon. It is unknown what caused it to crash. Remember, you can always get the latest on these stories and more right here at cbsphilly.com. That is the latest for the Evening Digital Brief.